Yo, 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 YouTube, what's happening with it? It's your boy Frank Nitty. We checking in. What another one on another day, you hear me? Oh. <clears throat> I see y'all kind of like that last video that I had dropped. You know, it ain't really, it ain't really much. I don't want people to grasp the concept that I know everything about trucking because I don't. I started doing the videos because it's, you know, just my learning experience and my journey when it comes down to, you know, these trucking companies or what I'm going through right now. It's just, today is like another day of miscommunication with the company, you know. When I booked my load that I pick up out of DHL, I was told that the load would be preloaded by 10.30. I got here last night and the guy said, yeah, your load won't be ready till 10.30. Uh, that's what it got in the system. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna leave. Go, uh, you know, freshen up, whatever like that. And I'll be back, you know what I'm saying? So, boom. Uh, I ain't wanna start my clock, so I just chilled out. Uh, then I, I called him, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, like, is the load ready to do? The guy had to go all shake, like, load not ready right now? We'll contact you when it's ready. He took my number down. So boom, 11.30 roll around. Your load not ready, it's there in the third. 1.30 come around, I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna wait till like 3.30ish type, whatever like that. Then I'm gonna go see, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just drive up there. I'm gonna go see, it's a Sunday. I'm not really much in a rush. It's just going to North Carolina. So I just pulled up, you know, and I get to the guard shack. This can't be the same guy that I've been talking to because the guy that, I was talking to earlier, it sound like an older uh, Caucasian male. This one is a, like he's younger. So I talked to him and he go on the computer. He go to say, oh yeah, your load was a live load for this morning at 1030. When I booked the load, you know, it was supposed to be preloaded. The person I've been talking to the whole time is telling me the load was supposed to be preloaded. They don't turn around while I'm at the guard shake talking to this dude. I get a message over the Qualcomm. Or well, this ain't no damn Qualcomm. The Geotab. The message say, uh, let me see. Oh, no, that's not it. <laughs> Come on now. The message say, ETA to shipper. We had a 1030 this morning. So... It's three o'clock. Like, what do you mean 10.30 this morning? And a load was supposed to be preloaded. I came here. There's number one to cover my ass. I came here. I got confirmation at least four different times that my load was supposed to be a preload. Then I get here. Now my load is supposed to be a live load. Then I go back. Now I got the, I got the dispatch. Then when I go check it again after being told it's a live load, they switch the dispatch from a dropping hook to a live load. The communication. If I knew that it was a live load at 10.30, I would have been here at 9. It wouldn't have been no type problem. But now, dude told me, he said, you know what? Just come back at 6.30. Now, remind you, I didn't start my clock. Sometimes you have to maneuver in a way that's going to benefit you because if I would have started my clock by driving back and forth to this place, by the time I got loaded, I would not be make, able to make it to my delivery. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to hold you. I PC'd up here. It wasn't on even starting no clock. It was 15 miles away. So, this is my third time being here. I'm going to just sit outside. There's some trucks on the little side street. I'm going to sit out there and, you know what I'm saying, make it happen. But, the mu the communication here on the weekends, they suck, they trash. You know, I don't even see why they be in the office because they can't do help you too much. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm not going too much worry about it. When I get enough, they load me up. I make it to North Carolina when I make it up. They get down this appointment uh, at this appointment time, which I think this load right here is supposed to. Let me see. This load is supposed to deliver. I don't even. 
I was supposed to deliver tomorrow at 9.30. So by the time I get there, I got to drive all the way to the place. I'm about to drive all the way to the place or the closest truck stop, shut down, get up in the morning, make that happen. How you make it happen and go ahead and deliver it. If I would have known this is what it was, I would have been But that's one thing that they got to work on is their communication or whatever like that. I see that there's some more stuff going on as far as, as, far as them dropping articles, but I'm not, every time they drop like a truck of article about USA, I don't see it as far as benefiting the IC program. It's more so feel like it's benefiting like their brokerage and their company or their company drivers. I don't see too much improvement when it comes down. And for a little minute, I was thinking that, you know what? For a, well, for a long time, I'm not going to say a little minute. For a long time, I've been thinking that major companies is the way to go. You know what I'm saying? But it's like over time, as I talk to more and more of these drivers, like I just talked to like two drivers. And they like with a small company I never even heard of before, but they out of Illinois. And they just like, bro, basically, if you get like with one of the little companies, you liable to make more money, get higher percentage and this and that. Like the company that he had, I can't, to be honest, I can't even, uh, I'm not going to hold you. I can't even pronounce whatever name that is on his truck. But they out of Illinois and they get paid 88% of the load. And it's only 33, no, he said 30, yeah, 33 or 34 drivers at that company. So he was showing me his settlements or whatnot. And, you know, settlements not bad. Like, they not bad at all. But there's so many different routes to go. And I just don't want to go and jump on a bandwagon somewhere. And then it'd be like, oh, yeah, well, you still going through the same beers, so you're going to have some new beers to deal with. Or you might have more beers to deal with, but you're getting better pay. It's what be working for some people, it might not work for me or maneuver the way I need it to maneuver. So, uh, I don't know. It's like I got to, like this morning, I was just thinking, I got to get my mind together and put myself back on track and keep focusing on that goal because I ain't going to lie. Like, I lost track. I lost motivation or whatever like that. I'm just getting out, running, making a truck payment, make a couple thousand dollars and go home. Like, it, it just the motivation just wasn't up like that. You know what I'm saying? So now, so I got to step back in it and make it happen, you know, because it's so many, oh, this company do this, this company do that. Oh, get authority, get insurance. Oh, no, don't do that. Go to this company. You'll make the same amount of money. Or if you go in, it's like, you just try to, it's like you want to get as much knowledge as possible and, 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 you know what I'm saying, consume it and try to put it into use. But when you start overthinking it, and that's my problem, I overthink a lot of stuff. So it might take me a little minute to do some things, you know, and it, it, it sometimes it get the best of you or whatever. But I just try to keep talking to people so I can be put in the right direction. Like I say, I don't know everything at all. I probably don't even know 30, 40% of the industry. Even if it's 20%, it's, I don't know everything. I just hop on here. I get my experience. Seven years being in it, I, I still don't. I thought I did before, messed up. And I start back over, and it's like stuff done change with the industry, like the whole little trucking industry. So it's you know I am put I am piecing it together. The thing is, I just know what I need to know where to put my money. at. You know what I'm saying? I need to know where to put my money at when it come down to this. It's like you know, do I need to just jump for the authority and all of it, and you know just grab the trailer and, and get gone or. Don't get it. Slide to a company that's paying decent, so I ain't got to worry about the overhead, and I actually have an umbrella and keep it moving that way. But I own too much. Uh, it's just so many different routes. It's so many different routes. You know what I'm saying? I want to choose the best route for me so that I can be successful, and not because somebody else is successful off of it. If you get what I mean. But like I said, we all chill. Um, just doing a little thinking. Send back. You know, it's three thirty right now, so. He told me to come back at 6 30. We probably end up going back. Uh it's probably like about three hours, something like that. Three hours. And we'll knock that out, make that happen. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Catch you on the next one. Yeah.